Is that for a bathroom? That was the question my dad got about the childhood bedroom I shared with my sister when he gave the dimensions of the room to the rug salesman. Yep, so I grew up in a super small home with a very small bedroom that I shared and we had no closets in the bedroom. In fact, all my clothes were in a dresser that was in our living room and that's where I kept everything all the way through high school. Even as a kid, I got really resourceful in learning ways to create more space. And a lot of those ways I have cultivated to work for my current closet and for my clients' closets. These 12 tips will help you maximize your wardrobe space and create a closet that you love. Simplify your wardrobe into a capsule wardrobe. When you have a small space or a small closet, it's super helpful to have less higher quality items than just having a closet stuffed with items that you don't wear, you can't see, you can't find, and just really don't help you get dressed easily. So tip number one is simplify into having a capsule wardrobe. If you're not sure what that is, I will link a video up above and down in the description box, as well as some other resources for you. The second step is decluttering your wardrobe. If you don't know how to do that, I made a video recently about that. I will link that up above for you and also down in the description box. But decluttering your wardrobe, getting rid of those items that you don't need, that you don't wear, that you don't love, will create so much space. Stop using your closet as storage space. Where your clothes go, where your wardrobe lives, should not be the same place that you store holiday decorations or your kids' artworks or old books or just a bunch of stuff that you don't really need. Take all the non-wardrobe related items out of your closet and don't put them back in there. Either find another place for them or get rid of them. If you absolutely have no other place for them, then definitely I recommend getting some nice looking baskets. Target has some, they're super affordable and putting in those items and then storing them somewhere on a shelf in your closet. So at least they're kind of tucked away. But in general, do not put any non-wardrobe items in your closet. The same goes for your sentimental items. Your sentimental items ideally should not be hanging in your closet. They should not even be in your closet. So these are the items that maybe, you know, it's your wedding dress. It's your first date that you had with your husband dress. It's your daughter's first communion dress, whatever it may be. These items that you don't want to let go of, but you don't actually wear anymore, but they do have some emotional connection to your life. Again, you can store them elsewhere, put them in a nice bin, throw them elsewhere, or again, look for a beautiful, some kind of basket or bin that you can put them all in and store them in your closet. My next tip is not only having hangers that match, but also looking into getting some of those velvet hangers. Amazon has them in almost every color and they come in these huge batches. They're really affordable. They are made for smaller closets. So if you don't have a lot of closet space, this is a great way to be able to maximize the items you can hang in your closet. And again, just having those hangers be uniform is just another great way to bring some intention into your space. Don't keep your bathrobe in your closet. Don't keep pajamas or your workout clothes or even your loungy clothes that you walk the dog in. Keep those things in a dresser. Keep those things somewhere else. The stuff in your closet should be items and pieces that you love, that you wear for your everyday life. Use every inch of space in your closet. It's super easy these days to put up rods or to put up more shelves. There's so many easy, wonderful, inexpensive ways to do that. I actually built my closet. So trust me, I when I tell you you can put up a couple shelves or you even if even if they're just plastic dividers or something like that if your closet is high make sure you have shelves somewhere even whether the shelves are higher add another rod or kind of maximize the space so there's no empty space if you were looking at your closet there wouldn't be a white wall in any area your heavy winter items like your coats your ski jackets you know if you have any like ski pants things like that if there's another place that you can store them please do again don't have them in your closet where you're hanging your everyday wardrobe. You don't use those items every day. I mean, unless you're li you live in Alaska and you're a pro snowboarder or something, most of us don't use those items every day. So I don't recommend hanging them in your closet. That goes the same with any type of heavy coats that are more specific for the weather. You don't really need those in your closet. Now, shoes is an interesting one because I feel like you can definitely, if you're maximizing your space, you can either use a shoe rack on the floor of your closet 
or create some easy shelving on the floor for your shoes. There's so many different options and things that are available these days to store your shoes or create space for your shoes that I definitely recommend looking into some of those and finding ways to store your shoes where they're not taking up a ton of space. Put items in the storage bin, your belts, your scarves, items that you can really just put in nice little bins and maybe even place them elsewhere or again just let them have their own place as opposed to just kind of thrown in your closet so you want to think of your closet kind of like a puzzle and where do all the pieces fit what's going to be the easiest way for you to access items that you're not going to forget about items but that's also going to be the most efficient and maximize a small space now ideally i love having my whole wardrobe in my closet all year round and I just think there are so many pieces that you would think are just for one season, but there's ways to translate them for other seasons. Now, if you don't have the space and if you don't connect to that idea, or if there's just some pieces that you know you only wear for certain seasons, then I recommend putting your clothing for other seasons elsewhere. I think under the bed is a great place to store things, especially if you don't have a lot of room. Now, everything that's left in your closet should be folded or hung up neatly and just display it in a way that makes you feel good when you go into your closet. Things shouldn't be stuffed in, things shouldn't be crumpled or you know hidden behind other items. You want your wardrobe to feel like a place that is easy for you to get in and out of, to get dressed from. This is something that you access every day. So make it as efficient as possible, no matter what size your space is. I have some live virtual workshops coming up to help you take this even further and really make this the year that you love your closet, that you love your wardrobe, you dress better, and you save time and money. So for information on that, go down in the description box. I have a link there. It will tell you exactly what you need to do to buy your ticket. And if you haven't decluttered your wardrobe yet, I recommend watching this next video for how to declutter your wardrobe, even if you struggle with it. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe for new videos every Thursday.